Hi beautifuls! Welcome to my channel. This is your safe place. I hope you are all having a tremendous day today. So today's reading is going to be about are you meant to be together with this person on your mind? And we are going to have three different piles. Uh, we'll choose your cards on screen. Uh, together. So before choosing your deck, as always, I want you to uh, meditate for a while. You know, like uh, pause the video, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and clear your mind. Okay. <laughs> it takes just, you know, um, one minute maybe, I don't know, just a minute. So uh, close your eyes, take deep breaths, clear your mind and ask your higher self, am I going to end up with this person? And, you know, just uh, imagine the face of this person in front of you and then clo uh, open your eyes, look at the decks and which one is calling you. That is your deck, okay? So if you feel like you are drawn to more than one pile, yeah, you can listen both of them. But um, you'll just, you know, um, take the messages that resonates with your scenario. Okay, so let me introduce you the decks. This is going to be pile number one with the clear quartz. And let me show the images of this deck okay and this is going to be pile number two with the selenite oh string card the devil okay And the pile number three is going to be this one. A row moonstone. It's really beautiful. And let's see the cards. Okay, so let's choose your deck. And then I'll begin with the pile number one. Pile number one, welcome back. So let's see, will you end up together? First of all, we are going to check your energies, okay? You can ask the question with me as will us end up together, will we end up together, okay? Now let's see pile number one. Pile number one. What is the pile number one's current energy about this relationship with their person? What is your current energy, pile number one? Page of Cups. The Empress, and the Seven of Swords, hmm, you feel like something is missing, yeah, you feel a great love for them, you know, because the Empress is about the abundant of anything abundance of anything and actually you have a high energy okay so maybe um, you bring much more energy effort and time to this relationship this yeah 
then the other one then your person and it's like right now you are waiting for some you know uh, actions from them maybe some communication maybe some call messages mm -hmm. and you know if you are in a committed relationship maybe uh, right now we are waiting for a proposal maybe yeah you are waiting for this but with the seven of swords you feel like something is missing yeah maybe you are stalking them and you are gathering some information about them on social media yeah mostly social media but also it can be via your uh, friends colleagues you know your common friend circle and we see here water signs like cancerian scorpio pisces taurus and libra and also aquarius so maybe you can have these signs but it is not a necessary so let's see the other parts energy about you your person's current energy about this connection pile number one Oh, lover's card. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. So, actually, oh, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck we see the Ace of Cups. So, I believe this is a good sign, you know. Ace of Cups is a good sign because it is a beginning of new era in our emotions in our relationship with others can you see how this uh, water in the cup is nurturing because the you know sips of them the drops just yeah raised up grow up some uh, plants here and the cat is also drinking from this water so it's like you know this uh, connection between you and them can be very emotional can be very romantic and even if you don't have a relationship with yet them you know um, the chemistry between you two okay the attraction between you two can be very magical can you see <laughs> this is very magical and we see two doves are flying so i believe yes this is a good sign and maybe here someone is making some good <laughs> food maybe you are a good cook or them either way if you have a relationship or you know if you have dates together i believe someone here is making great foods for the other or if you hadn't a hate hadn't had <laughs> a date yet it's the energy you are giving each other can you see the your current energy the lovers card it is a great description of lovers um cats holding tails and the people are holding hands and we see here the magic it's like feminine and masculine energy are mending marrying each other yeah in the dark wood and this energy is you know lighting up this dark forest yeah so they feel a great attraction to you okay right now they feel a great attraction but with the five of pentacles I believe um, yeah 
they cannot give the, your attention too much on you because you know with the eight of pentacles it seems like they are very busy with their work maybe with their school if they are a student yeah other things in their life wants their attention so they cannot put their energy right now into this relationship but actually in their mind in their heart you know um, as their telepathical energy they are giving you so much so maybe sometimes you are receiving you know some uh, feelings some you know intuitions like oh are they thinking about me oh oh my god what is that feeling you know maybe you are sensing that because you know it's about telepathy yeah it's about the communication with the hearts and also the lower scars is about you know making a choice making a choice by our heart and it is a heart decision so i believe yes they want to be with you yes they want to put more effort and spend more time with you but right now they're you know just not um capable of doing this and actually with the five of pentacles what i see it's so winter we see snow and two people just you know marching in the snow and it is hard it is cold it is harsh the air conditions are not you know welcoming but here we see a home with lights on warm secure but um they are not in it okay it's like they are um missing this warm safe house yeah they cannot get the help nobody helps them so they are like you know abandoned they feel cold actually they feel left out in the cold so i believe without you without your you know good energy they are like this <laughs> they are missing you a lot maybe they are um searching for some signs of you okay maybe they're also uh stalking you yeah but right now they cannot come to the home and home is you okay they are far away from home but you are like you know i'm just here <laughs> i am just here you can come here but no they cannot do that right now and here can you see the smoke i believe some <laughs> good meal good soup <laughs> is cooking here like this so yes they cannot reach that energy right now so this was the energy current energy let's see are you meant to be together but first let me take this yeah. so pile number one will you and your person end up together pile number one will you and your person end up together oh queen of cups love that energy king of pentacles temperance five of cups two of wands the judgment and the sun 
Hmm, interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Hmm. Let's see some Oracle cards. I shuffled them before, so just give a nice shuffle. Pile number one. Are you going to be end up with your person? Pleasure. Pile number one. Are you going to end up with your person? Peace. And one last card. Are you going to end up together with your person? Pile number one. Blessed. And yes, this is the answer. And let's take your advice also here. What is the advice for pile number one? Solitude in silence, peace prevails. And we see lots of peace, team here so i want to say yes you are going to end up together but um this is not going to be too much easy okay there is some process going here what i see with the um cups energy five of cups and also the judgment talks about um, yes, they are going to be together, but it is not going to be easy. They have to, they will have to end the past, okay? Just erase the past, erase the conflicts and forgive each other and also forgive ourselves, okay? You will forgive yourself, they will forgive themselves and then with this peaceful state of mind you are going to be with each other yeah and oh i did say this zodiacs here yeah their energy it was the gemini virgo and the taurus okay so maybe that can be important and here what zodiacs I see Cancerian, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, uh, Pluto energy, ma um, the judgment. So maybe we can say Scorpio and with the Sun, Leo. So maybe these um, time period periods of these signs can be important, but especially what period I see is beginning of April you know, end of March and beginning of uh, April until the August. Yeah, maybe when you watch this and after you watch the video, the next August can be the date you are going to be together, okay? So let's talk about uh, the cards. At the bottom of the deck, we are seeing hier Hierophant energy. And you know, the Hierophant is a sacred union. Okay, it is loyalty. It is about the sacred union. So, and it's, you know, it's also the Pope, the priest. So <laughs> maybe these are you, you know, marrying to each other in front of a priest, in front of a, you know, the Hierophant, <laughs> yeah. So it is the energy under the deck. So I believe um, there is some undergoing energy here and it is the marriage energy. So there is a high possibility that yes, you are going to end up each other. And also, the spread talk, talks about 
you are some loving and caring, ca caring character and also the other part is going to be like that so you are going to feed each other <laughs> okay um, both literally and metaphorically you are going to feed each other with your energy with your love with your time with your efforts yeah you two are going to take uh, care of each other and by time you know slowly with the temperance here you are going to solve some um, problems yeah can you see there is a cupcake <laughs> Yeah, the cat just, you know, push it down. And yes, we cannot eat that cupcake, but should we should we be sad about it anymore, you know, because there is some feast going on here, okay? So instead of um being regretful, being upset, being depressed about the mistakes in the past, you know, that can be your mistakes and uh, other ones mistakes it doesn't matter by the way we can all make mistakes you know we are human beings so it is our uh, part of nature so instead of being uh, depressed about these mistakes i believe you two are going to question so we have this other option we have this other feast going on here so what can we do with this what can we do about the situation and you are going to think about the future and maybe you are going to take some advices from uh, your closed one your loved ones not everyone you know not uh, big friend groups but maybe your mother your best friend you know maybe your mentor yeah maybe your employer I don't know you are going to take some advices both of you okay both of you will do that and after that you know because the uh, two of wands is about planning the future and that future is something uh, unknown because it is about realm of the unknown so I believe you are going to experience a phase of this relationship that you two hadn't experienced before and with the judgment here you two faced uh, some you know really um, big, big things um, there can be yes some confrontations but that is not a bad thing because you know the result card is some so when you you know maybe conflict even when, when you conflict and confront each other we see a butterfly energy and the judgment card is also about this butterfly energy because it's the transformation so your relationship transform into a much more peaceful place and oh, look at here we see also uh, butterflies in the pleasure card yeah so and here we also see a white dove we see that team before in the ice of cups can you remember yeah this is really a good sign so I believe um, after that big confrontation with each other you are going to understand understand each other's language okay low language effort language behaviors okay you are going to understand this melody you two are bringing into each other's life yeah because you know relationship is about that it is not easy yes but if you work together then yes you can have this sun energy and sun is maybe the most um, optimistic and beautiful <laughs> card in tarot deck 
we see sunflowers and the sun it's like you know you'll two become each other's sun and also the sunflower because <laughs> you know sunflower is um, turning their faces when there is this sun so it's like you are going to um, metaphorically worship each other okay you'll feel like yeah this is a blessed energy this is a blessed relationship and here in those cards you know peace pleasure and blessed we see lots of purple color purple and the purple is about our uh, crown chakra seventh chakra so I believe there is some uh, divine energy is going here okay also the judgment card can talk about you know um, karmic relationships sometimes past life uh, lovers okay oh this song just <laughs> come into my mind past lives yeah and here we see the number 22 so yes there is definitely <laughs> some magic is going here yeah and maybe you know can you see the pregnant lady here maybe you two are going to you know have children but it's not um it doesn't have to be a human child you know maybe it is like you know these cats mother cat and the kittens maybe you are going to adopt some kittens dogs maybe you are going to have this kind of you know farm and farm animals yeah and i believe you are going to establish a big family together and it is going to be so much fun so much pleasure yeah Oh, there is another door here so yes <laughs> this is definitely going to work out yeah and number 18 hmm okay maybe these numbers can be important you know 18 22 14 5 2 20 19 and 5 here and I believe the chemistry between you two is going to be um, so big um, that when you are alone, when you are together, every second of this, you know, sharing a place together is going to be joyful. Yeah. And before that, your advice is solitude in silence, peace prevails. So. If you are not together right now or if you know you are in a relationship but cannot spend uh, so much time together uh, know the value of your solitude and please keep your independence okay and while doing that you are going to be much more wiser okay can you see the oval yeah it is about being you know wise and while you are in that solitude you are going to realize some things about yourself about your person and about your you know relationship after this time of solitude after this time of you know maybe breaks up yeah you are going to be in peace with each other i really love that energy and here <laughs> can you see the cup yeah it was cup I guess it's the Queen's clothing so maybe it is going to be like you know your wedding dress like this maybe you are going to wear that kind of a cup <laughs> maybe 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 you are going to a kind of you know this uh, magical fictional <laughs> team of you know maybe marriage like you know um, lord of the rings kind of maybe i don't know <laughs> but that is the energy i'm seeing here so i believe yes you are going to be together at the end but before that 
you must resolve your problems and conflicts with each other and your person I believe is going to be more sincere uh, more generous and more you know serious about this relationship so that was a really lovely reading pile number one <laughs> I hope um, you'll get the best results so and if you also love the reading enjoy the reading please subscribe to my channel that really motivates me and i love to see you here again and until then take care of yourself and bye pile number two welcome back so let's see how you end up going together but first we are going to check your current energies okay first of all we are going to look at your current energy about this relationship and then um the your energy okay and while i am shuffling the cards you can ask the question with me oh, oh. okay <laughs> calm down calm down okay very excited energy here and i guess very mixed energies very conflicted energies so let's see pile number two what is your current energy about this connection to your person? Pile number two. So it pops out. Oh, chariot. Page of cups. Hmm. knight of swords so this is your energy and what is their current energy about this connection oh ten of swords the devil okay i see and the strength okay Let's move down a little bit. And at the bottom of the deck, we see the Queen of Swords. So very harsh, very harsh energies. And you know, we see that while the shuffling the cards, it wasn't that easy. So I guess right now, um, both of you you and them are not feeling good okay maybe you have broke up or even maybe you or them uh, can be with the other persons okay yeah especially their energy is like um with the devil here this is like a toxic relationship a toxic connection uh, maybe a forced marriage yeah and here we see the queen of swords so maybe maybe um, they are with someone else and they cannot break this connection they cannot free themselves from this relation here because of their um, stubbornness yeah and maybe because of their you know pride because of their vanity yeah maybe they are not you know able to say yeah I am sorry I was mistaken yeah they are someone that uh, doesn't accept okay they they don't accept their failure their mistakes because devil and the strength card together this is um not just you know being pride okay this is not being um proud of themselves it is the vanity okay this is being arrogant being yeah 
in vanity. And here, string card is a much more pure and soft energy. And it's like, you know, your connection with them. And here, the devil, you now it is a dark energy and I, I don't like that. And here, what we see is the Ten of Swords. So maybe uh, when you watch this, maybe two months ago, three, two or three months ago, you were broke up. Maybe they betrayed you. Maybe they abandoned you. Maybe they ghosted you. And maybe they are right now with that, you know, Queen of Swords. But they are not happy, actually, because, you know, the Ten of Swords is like, end of everything it is being in a painful state yeah they are not in ease with their mindset they are not peaceful they are just conflicting with themselves and here your energies oh <laughs> oh god um no the chariot is um how can I say? It's a very independent energy, very victorious, very independent. And it's like, yes, you are watching this video, but I believe you are ready to choose someone else over them. Okay? Maybe you are ready to forget about them. And you, you are just watching this video um, just because of, you know, curiosity yeah and here we see the cats and cats are also about you know being independent being careless yeah maybe you've been through so much pain with those people maybe they put you in that position you know a woman is lying here and she is just you know it's like a, um, a Vikings funeral yeah it's like a funeral ceremony so maybe you are saying um, they killed the good in me yeah they killed a good part of me they have taken this away from me and right now I am just uh, emerging from my ashes and I am giving birth to myself yeah it's like you know you are carrying yourself here and after a while you are going to give birth to your new version but still with the page of cups you can yeah maybe you are uh, waiting for an apology yeah, maybe you are waiting for um, you know, I'm sorry from this that from this person. But you know, you are not fragile anymore. You are just <laughs> this um knight princess. You know, it's the knight of swords and in traditional tarot knights are depicted with male figures, but here we see a woman yeah i forgot the name of this character in you know because i am not uh yes i love the series but at, i am not a fan of the i you know the series the lot lord of the rings there was a blonde woman who was in love with Aragorn but then you know she loved someone else at the end of the movie and she was this um, knight princess she was you know fighting this monster and she said I am no man yeah it's like you know it is this energy yeah you are like, I am no man. <laughs> I can forget about you, okay? But 
you have to apologize for me yeah and here also we see the queen of swords it is also harsh energy so yes this can also be you okay this can also be your energy and queen of swords um is not someone that addicted to the you know the men they are you know love man they can be you know alone they can divorce they can break up with people it is okay for them yes that is painful but um they are not like you know drama queens they respect themselves too much and i believe this is your energy you know can you see the other card here yeah five of swords i believe you have passed through your mourning uh period for this person yes you cried a lot yes you grieved about them yes you mourned about them but that was in the past right now i believe from that state yeah you involve into this queen of swords so maybe no longer you want them in your life but you know you just want to see them um what was the word surrender to you okay surrender yeah surrender and apologize and their energy you know they have too much passion for you yes but you know they're just not ready yet yeah and i am not sure if um they are regretting about their you know mistakes yes they are strongly addicted to you yes that is an addiction for them unless you you know because you are in a healthy state but maybe this person cannot apologize right now so let's see the zodiac signs but you know this is not a necessary thing uh, but if you or them have these signs uh, on your birth charts then it can be a confirmation but what we are looking for is the energy of this zodiac sign so uh cancerian page of cups is the pure water energy so cancerian scorpio pisces can be um gemini libra gemini again capricorn and leo that can be the energy so let's see pile number two are you going to end up with each other oh lover's card okay eight of pentacles two of cups the word card the word the joker page of pentacles the magician hmm and here we see eight of swords so let's see your oracle cards pile number two are you two going to be together happy happy are you two going to end up each other pile number two
financial health but you know its theme is the tree and tree is about um getting some roots expanding our roots and maybe even being a family are you going to end up together nourishment and one last card for your advice the advice for pile number two Vas Vistas expand your horizons okay pile number two very interesting yeah this is much better So what we see here actually yes there is a possibility for you to to come together and end up together because you know the lovers card two of cups and the word especially the word card is about completion yeah and it's a card of Saturn so when we see the word card um you know there is a lesson for us in that relationship there is some lessons yes but there is some exams also and these exams and these tests are not easy because you know it's the saturn saturn uh gives us discipline can you see it's the purple yeah purple is the crown chakra so i believe there is some divine message here and this scenario is like with the lover's cards the other person is going to make a choice it can be a choice between you and their courage um they you know vanity sorry they are vanity not courage uh, it can be a choice between their family you know their mom dad maybe their own children and you that can be a choice between their work uh, their career their status and you and you know if there is a third part situation that can be a choice between other part and you so i believe um in the future but it can take some time okay um right now at the bottom of the deck we see the eight of swords so they are trapped okay maybe also you are trapped and there is no escape but actually it is the feeling of um being desperate yeah you don't have to be in a desperate situation but that is the feeling that is the emotion that is the mindset so i believe right now they are in this state but in the future but as i said it is going to take some time like you know this tree here in order to grow a tree up we must be patient trees cannot grow in just you know one month three months <laughs> it can take years so maybe not years but at least a year maybe for this relationship to grow up and it's like both you and them going to make some efforts because um eight of pentacles is about working studying on something giving our um, attention being very detailed yeah 
being very perfectionist so I believe yes go, they are going to make the hard decision to be with you but there is a but um, maybe in the future you are going to want um, who make the choices okay there is a high possibility that until that person come with with this um you know apologize effort or you know proposal maybe you are going to see someone else maybe you are going to meet with someone else and even maybe right now while watching this maybe you have already met with someone else with someone you know new so i will live at the very end you're going to be the one who make the choice and it is going to be your choice to be with this person or not yeah because they are going to choose you yes but it's like you know they are going to be too late and maybe i don't know according to this yes you can be with them but what i see here especially with the magician as the result card it is going to be your wish so if still right now uh you wish to be with them yes you are going to be together yes you are going to end up together because it's like you know happy happy card <laughs> it's the 26 so maybe the number can be important and here we see again the seven maybe these dates can be important no matter what you are going to be happy with the result but as i said this is all going to be your decision but this person is yes going to be sorry for their acts in the past and maybe even they are going to propose to get married because you know as i said a uh, team of three is about being rooted expanding our roots expanding our generations or even maybe if you really end up together if you choose them at the end um maybe you are going to do same same career same job yeah maybe you are going to share your finances with together because you know we see nourishment yeah when you end up together i believe you are going to support each other so much that you are going to be successful together yeah and here with the two of cups yes we are seeing two hearts meeting each other the word card is the reward we take at the end of the journey it's like you know a missing sense of treasure a missing heaven yeah and finding the right one so with the uh, you know lovers word and the magician card there can be a soul connection between you and them maybe you are soulmates maybe you are karmic partners yeah but there is definitely something is going on here this is destiny but as i said here with the joker page of pentacles and the magician you are going to be the one who make the last goal okay last choice and what zodiacs we see here gemini virgo cancerian uh fixed signs from each element so taurus scorpio Aquarius, and leo Aquarius again gemini and the page of pentacles is the pure earth energy so capricorn virgo taurus can be and your advice about the situation and what i see is autumn so maybe fall or autumn can be important you know september october and november yeah of course 
<laughs> if you are you know on the northern side of the globe yeah autumn and fall can be important and maybe uh, you are living or even maybe you are journeying traveling um, by the sea so that card says expand your horizons okay it's about us uh, seeing the world in new ways uh, it is time for you to you know think outside you know that box <laughs> yeah thinking outside of the box and um, being open to you know new adventures yeah and also that card says um, unconventional relationships may flourish okay <laughs> so be open-hearted be light-hearted and please take time on yourself to you know nourish your uh, dreams because it says you know big changes big transformations are on the way yeah and it's like the joker you know so maybe maybe some of them you know not all of you but maybe some of them um, some of you sorry can want to try their chance with someone new okay but you know it is not obligated uh, this is your choice okay this is going to be your choice so number two this was your reading i hope you enjoyed and loved your reading and if you do please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up <laughs> it would make me very happy and motivated to do more videos more readings so i love to see you hope to see you here in other videos and until then take care of uh, take care of yourself and bye pile number three welcome back so let's see your reading first of all i'm going to look at as the other decks as your current energy and the other's current energy it's an energy check so what is pile number three is current energy about this connection with the person on their mind eight of wands prince discs is it's the knight of pentacles in the stack oh two of pentacles so what is the current energy of your person about this connection right now hmm four of cups it's like little prince you know the book the child book little prince it always reminds me of him hmm six of swords yeah Hmm, six of cups so they are in a nostalgia about you but they are doing nothing okay so what I see here your energy is very much focused on them okay it's like you know um, thinking with all of your brain <laughs> all of your soul so you are giving your energy to them but it's like um, they are ignoring this yes they miss you a lot but in their own way okay they are taking care of this rose and I believe this rose is a symbolism for their love okay for their emotions towards you and this is you <laughs> watching them from a distance but as i said you are sending you know these energies this arrow this you know wants but 
they don't give any answer yeah yes they have feelings by the way we see that but they are not in the mood yeah some of them can be very depressed you know yeah and alone feeling alone in their own you know little world they're alone they feel lonely and it actually yeah taking their energy away from them their battery dies okay their battery dies and maybe um they cannot find any energy to you know experience the beauty of life they are missing a lot <sighs> and it is a very heavy energy i felt um you know a heaviness on my chest it's like hard to speak yeah maybe there is there can be something wrong with their throat chakra the fifth chakra because even though they have these beautiful feelings for you they cannot express themselves maybe they are afraid of love maybe they are afraid of being in a committed relationship and even if this person is your partner yeah it feels like they feel lost in their mind like you know the little prince they have no answers they don't know anything they don't know what to do with their lives yeah but with the six of cups this is a very beautiful energy and it's always uh, like you know a soulmate relationship for me it's you know the love of children yeah this innocent pure child love for the other child you know when you love someone <laughs> when you're a child it's like them but with the butterflies there is so much transformation going in their heart and mind and here what i see is the sails the boats so maybe um they're you know marines maybe they work at the sea maybe their job is related to seas or the waters like you know scuba diving maybe Yeah. and maybe there is a distance between you you know a long distance relationship because we also see a six of swords it is putting a distance they want to be free from their fears from their obligations in life but it is not so easy for them you know this darkness uh, you know all of their body their energy is dark you know not like that child are in colorful clothings but these are you know just like shadow yeah and when I look at you back yes you are focused on them maybe you are expecting some kind of um, communication and while waiting this communication if you are sending them real messages or giving them real calls telephone calls yeah maybe they are yes answering but you know it's like um, a lifeless you know a boring way yeah it's like they are here yes but 
not entirely. Yes, they are physically here, but their soul is like lost in somewhere. So you are waiting for some um, solid, some secure moments from them. And while waiting this, you look like confused. Yeah with the two of pentacles and maybe also right now you are having uh, some difficulties with your life maybe you are you know managing different things at the very same time and that can be exhausting and for a few of you Maybe you are thinking about someone else other than this person, okay? This is not necessary, but that can be because of the card. So maybe you are thinking about someone else or maybe even you are seeing someone else, but you don't know what to do. So what zodiacs I see here? Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancerian, Aquarius, Scorpio, and the Pisces at the bottom of the deck. So let's see this. Yeah. Ten of Cups. It's a very beautiful energy. It's like, you know, being a family, being in a sacred union with each other. Very creative, very fertile energy. Can you see the trees here? Yeah. This is, th this talks about a very solid foundation. So, maybe it is your wish also their wish because you know it's the common energy mutual energy but it's like you know a dream at a very distance you know a far far away this dream looks like you know you are imagining about this you are dreaming about this both of you but it looks like right now with the tower card maybe it is not possible for the moment maybe some things radically have to change yeah because tower card is yes a destruct destructive card but it also refreshing <laughs> okay because you know it destroy everything and then you have a chance to build everything from the ashes as a new so let's see our another question are you two going to end up together you can ask the question with me are you two going to end up oh Okay, that came together. Can you see how much dark energy here? it's like you know a uh, very stressful energy and i'm going to choose um, one additional card um is pile number three going to end up with the person on their mind again a transformation card so let's see another five of ones hmm. very challenging energy but Let's talk about that after we choose the oracles. Pile number two. Are you going to end up together? Fate. Both of you, even if uh, you are not together okay both of you 
Um, keeping each other in their heart, okay? In their mind, in their heart, in their, you know, stomach, belly. So, even if you are not together, even if um, even you are then uh, with someone else, it's like you are always um, having those feelings for each other. Are you going to end up together? Pile number three. Dreams card. Yeah, both sides are dreaming about this, but you know, because of the other part, yeah, because of your person, okay, not you, but because of their uh, lack of courage, lack of motivation, it just gets in your way, okay, and limits the energy they are holding back they are always changing their minds are you going to be end up together pile number three and one card for your advice one last card what is the advice for the pile number three for this situation? Wander path, enjoy the journey. Okay. So what I see here at least for once okay you two are going to give a chance to this relationship but um it cannot yeah it is not going to be steady okay it is not going to be steady safe and stable so there is always things changing so I believe what we see here is going to change also in the future. So please be open-minded um, about your future, okay? Because, you know, this is current energy and um, Tarot is always talking, talking about changing energies. So what I see here, um, I am recording this video in January. So until the month of March, they are going to be away they are going to you know be in some kind of a distance from you and after that yes you are going to maybe see each other maybe you are going to be in a communication yes but still they are not very happy about their situation it's like uh, there are some yeah, there's some shortage. Maybe they are, um, they lost their job. Maybe they lost their home. Maybe they have some issues in regards of their family life. I don't know, but they don't feel secure. Okay, they don't feel secure. So they are always limited. They are always um, away from peace. So this is like you know um victim mind okay being in a victim mindset so yes you are going to give each other a chance with the ace of cups here but for this relationship to be solid as a tree you know this tree this life energy you and them both sides must be very patient with each other but mostly you because this person is changeable okay maybe they are not 
a bad person maybe they don't have bad intentions because you know they don't have bad intentions they don't have dark intentions actually they are very uh, pure and innocent like a child but they don't know how to you know um, be in a relationship and being responsible for uh, someone's needs they are hardly handling their own life their own needs their own problems their own issues so even though um, you two will be in a relationship maybe you can feel like I am alone in this relationship because you know they are very busy in their hats can you see in the knight of swords there are you know some ooh, <laughs> creatures like violets in his hat and we see also with the ones very snakes too much snakes in this person's hat so there are some snakes in their hats some swords so it is not very easy yes there is a chance but um it's like you know some of you are going to begin this relationship and if your person can be much more how can i say strong with their life yes your relationship can be you know growth it can be yes a good relationship but for some of you yes you are going to relationship again but you know your person is always um have problems in their head and even maybe for some of them um they can have you know some psychological maybe issues maybe some addiction issues okay alcohol addiction or other kinds of addictions maybe some psychological issues maybe some issues regarding to their families about you know their responsibilities for their families so it's always something between you and them and because of that yes i believe there are going to be two different scenarios for um this deck because of that the advice says wandering path enjoy the journey this is your message because you know we don't always um know where we are going okay we sometimes have to accept that um path in life is meandering okay even if it doesn't seem like um we are at the right place actually in life we are always exactly where we need to be okay that card reminds us that fact so it says be present with your journey embrace everything on your path because you know it's all for your highest good and accept the life as it is yeah it is the way you know it is the way to accept and see our inner power it feels like yes and it is going to be feel like yes i am lost but you know you are going to see <clears throat> what life brings so maybe in order to become successful as you know the six of wands here it's the victory card maybe you and them both can both must be faithful okay faithful to your goal to your relationship because 
the other part is going to be very pessimistic about this relationship but of course if you don't want to you know um, spend your time if you don't want to you know um, lose your time with them always <laughs> you are free to choose whatever you feels like good for you yeah because right now I cannot say yes you are definitely going to end up with them you know marry with them no this is not the story yes you are going to have a relationship but you know <sighs> this is not not like you know a very strong relationship only a few of you can really experience this kind of you know miracle maybe so what other zodiacs I see here? Eight of Cups, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini. Leo here and the Ace of Cups is the pure water signs, elements. So maybe Cancerian, Scorpion, Pisces, all of them can be. But I see here, as I said before, lots of conflicts, lots of um, competition. Yeah, even maybe you two are going to compete with each other. And there is also a chance for you to choose someone else, you know, with the Ace of Cups. And maybe if you choose someone over this person, um, they can be very jealous you know because they are actually very positive but they cannot say that okay they cannot tell this to you and it just seems like um it's them inside it's them alive yeah so take the advice and let's see what this person and you are going to see you know you'll take a chance and then see yeah and for some of you as i said before that can be like you know um, a dream can you see the let's see the image here a man is holding a woman in his arms I believe for some of you, for a few of you, yes, this is really going to be successful. But for some um, other parts, this is going to be very challenging. Okay, maybe at the end, yes, you are going to be successful. But, you know, that takes lots of time, maybe even years. Okay, so please um, take the journey as you know it comes to you don't push anything just you know um be light as the leaf you know in avatar when they <laughs> learn about the air element yeah air is like you know um smooth sailing okay flowing with the life so please flow with the light flow with the life and the air and be light as the leaf yeah but I believe this person is going to have some big transformations here you know 12 and 13 this follows each other and talks about a very deep transformation like you know that and bird revert so i believe some of them is yes definitely going to change their victim mind yeah some of them are going to do that very fast but you know some of them it's going to take time number three so this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading and if you do please subscribe to my channel um, it really motivates me 
to see you here and I also hope to see you in other videos so until then please take care of yourself and bye